of problem number 26. Problem number 26 goes like this. Consider the following information for three mutual funds A, B and C and the market information. So here you can see mutual funds there are three and market index given. The problem have four columns and four information. First one is mutual funds and the market index. The second column is mean return for each of the funds and also the market index standard deviation for all the mutual funds and the market and the beta here beta value is given so no need to calculate the beta value remember beta value is important for the trainer's measure or trainer's formula so beta is given so no need to calculate the beta next paragraph the mean risk free rate is 6 percent so risk free rate of return is 6% that is given in the problem we call it as RF is equal to 6% Calculate the trainer's measure, Shaw's measure and Jensen's measure for the three mutual funds and the market index So we have to do trainer's measure, Shaw's measure and the Jensen measure I have written the formula for each one of it and we have to rank them accordingly which is the best mutual fund so for that reason I have a, I have a column of rank also the formulas are given here so we have to go accordingly so let me go for uh, the first part of it so return on portfolio RP return on market is RM market index return is called RM then standard deviation for the market is called standard deviation m then standard deviation for portfolios different portfolios are given a b c subtrade i have taken that and the rf risk free return is given so risk free return given rf I have written that one also. So let me go for the first method, trainer's measure. So I have a formula here. Ti is equal to Rp minus Rf divided by beta of individual portfolio. So I'll go for calculating for first mutual fund that is A. Rp. Rp for A is 12. Uh, minus RF, RF is 6 then divided by BP that is the beta of that particular portfolio so so that is for A 1.1 so you have to do 12 minus 6 divided by 1.1 the value of that will be 5.45 Similarly, we have to do for mutual fund B. For mutual fund B, RP is 10. RF remains the same, 6. And beta value of B is 0 0.9. So, 10 minus 6 divided by 0 0.9. It is going to be 4.44 then for C RP for C is 13 RF remains the same common for all 6 next the beta value for C that is 1.2 13 minus 6 divided by 1.2 you will get 5.83 So I had done mutual funds A, B, C In the problem it is also given for market index I will find for the market index also the similar one RP for market index is 11 Risk free rate is 6 And beta is 1 So 11 minus 6 divided by 1 That is going to be 5 
but this is not taken for the calculation of a ranking purpose we will not take the market for the ranking purpose so how the ranks are done which is the best one as per the trainers measure which mutual fund is the best one so highest value we have to look into so highest to lowest will be the ranking method so when you see here 5.83 4.44 5.45 the highest is for c i rank it as 1 5.83. Next highest is 5.45. I rank it as 2. Next one is uh, B 4.44. I rank it as 3. So rank wise, if you see C A B. Next after that, trainers measure will move on to the shops measure. So S I is the shops measure is equal to R P minus R S. Common between the trainers measure and shops measure the numerator denominator will change here trainers measure the beta value in the shops measure the sd value will be there that is the difference you have to identify it is the easiest to do next divided by standard deviation of that particular portfolio for a it is 18 so 12 minus 6 divided by 18 Zero point three three. Next, we will calculate for uh, mutual fund B. That remains the same. N minus six. Then we have to take divided by standard deviation of it. Standard deviation of B is fifteen. So ten minus six divided by fifteen. Zero point two six. Next. 13 minus 6 that remains same divided by the SD that is 20. 13 minus 6 divided by 20. 0.35. This is for three mutual funds. I will also calculate for uh, the market also because we have the values. So 11 minus 6 remains same. The standard deviation for market is seventeen. So eleven minus six divided by seventeen. Zero point two nine four. This is not taken for calculation of ranking. So how to make the ranking again? The highest to lowest. C is 0.35, B is 0.26, A is 0.33. So highest is 0.35 one, second highest is 0.33 two, and the third one is B 0.26. Again, it is the same thing. Order C A B. The next one is Jensen's measure. There it is alpha. Alpha is equal to R P minus. You have a, a calculation over here in the bracket. R F plus beta value. Beta value multiplied by R M minus R F. So first we have to simplify R M minus R F. One value will come. So multiply with beta. Then add that that value to the R F. Then we have to minus that value from R P. Simplification process is there. So carefully we have to do it. So let me go for first substitution part. R P, that is individual portfolio we have to take. R P is twelve minus R F is common between all the portfolios plus B P is beta value of A one point one. Then R M. Rm is common again for all. It is 11. Rf is again common. That is 6. So how to go for simplification? We have to be very careful. So 11 minus 6 is 5. 5 into 1.1. That is. 
step by step to walk further next for the mutual fund b rp is 10 rs is 6 beta is 0.9 rm and rf remains common so if you if you simplify therein you are going to get 10 minus 0.10 minus 10.5 that is minus 0.5 is the answer next for uh, c the rp value for c is 13 rf is 6 bp is a beta value 1.2 So here, if you simplify, you are going to get uh, value as uh, one. Next for market, RP is eleven, RF is six, beta value is one. So if you simplify here. You are going to get uh, zero. So this will not come for calculation of ranking. So we have to rank the remaining, that is the mutual funds only. The highest value is one, so rank one. Next is zero point five here minus zero point five for B. So A will become the second ranking. The third one is the minus one. The rank will be three. So you can see here the ranking is. CBA, CBA, and CBA. From this, we can understand the best one is C to invest. Next is A. Next is B.